Hello everyone. So in the last tutorial I showed you how to use specular and roughness map using V-Ray as a renderer in Maya. So do check them after this video to learn more about skin shading in V-Ray. Now in this video, I will show you how to create a skin shader. First, I have added an SSS render element to show you the process of skin shading. Check the render and save it for comparison. Now to add SSS to your model, go to Hypershade. Select your face material and change SSS mix value to 1. Check the render Now, you can leave SSS mix value as it is. But if you want more detail, you can add a map like this. To create this map, open your face base color in Photoshop. Then add a new layer and fill it with white color. Again, add a new layer. Now select the brush and follow the steps shown in this video. You can also paint areas like ears, lips, and nose if you want more detail in SSS mask. Export the map and import it in Maya. Change color space to raw and click on alpha is luminance. Select your face material and drag and drop the texture to SSS mix. Check the render Now to add more detail in your skin shader you have to add maps in SSS1, SSS2 and SSS3 you can add your face base color to SSS1, and for SSS2, you have to add a map like this. And to create it, open your face base color in Photoshop, then copy it. Then change its blend mode to linear burn. And export it. Now for SSS3, you have to add a map like this, and to create it, open your face base color in Photoshop. Convert it to Smart Object, then add hue and saturation to it. Then change its setting as shown in video. Export it and import all maps in Maya. Now select your face material and drag and drop face base color to SSS1 color. Check the render. You can change SSS1 radius if you want, but the default setting works best for me. Which is the same for SSS2 and SSS3 radius. Now before adding SSS2 color, change value of SSS1 weight to 0. Then change value of SSS2 weight to 1 and drag drop deep scattering map to SSS2 color.
Check the render. Again before adding SSS3 color, change value of SSS2 weight to 0. Then change value of SSS3 weight to 1 and drag drop sallow scattering map to SSS3 color. Check the render. Now change SSS1 and SSS2 weight back again to 1. Check the render. Now drag drop face base color to diffuse of face material. Check the render. So this is how you can create a realistic skin shader using V-Ray as a renderer. Select eye wet mesh and add a new V-Ray material to it. Rename it and change its color to black. Now for the opacity map, you have to create an alpha map like this. For that first save I wet mesh UV map. And then open it in Photoshop. Then follow the steps shown in video. And export the map, then import it in Maya. Change its color space to RAW and click on Alpha is Luminous. Then drag and drop it to Opacity Map of Eye Wet Material. After that change reflection color to white and value of reflection glossiness to 0.98. Then change refraction color to white and value of refraction IOR to 1.33. Now select eyelashes and eyebrow meshes and add V-Ray hair material to them. Rename it. Then select your camera and start the render.